Right, let's go. Can you take this to my head? Oh. Cool plus cool. That was quite pathetic, don't you think? My name is Rose Matafeo, and I have been appointed by the powers that be to serve as your newer, cooler, slightly shorter, and much junior a taskmaster. <laughs> now, over the series, 25 children will be battling it out through five heats and two semis in the hope of reaching the grand final and getting their tiny, dexterous little hands on this. <laughs> oh, yes, I know exactly what the kids want. It's a slightly terrifying golden statue of a random 32-year-old woman's head. <laughs> Now, in Taskmaster tradition, tonight's winner will take home all of the prize tasks. However, the contestants who come first and second will both win a spot in the semi-finals. And obviously, in my role as junior Taskmaster, I will be passing judgment, awarding points, and scrutinizing their every move. Basically, just preparing these kids for the horrors of the adult workforce. Yay! <laughs> now, it's time to meet some contestants. Let's do it. Please welcome Anita! <laughs> to introduce my assistant. He is as sharp as a marble, right? <laughs> and he is, he is a large family-style tray of sandwiches short of a picnic. Like, I'm, I'm talking like one of those massive trays they have at funerals and stuff. <laughs> it's Mike Wozniak! <laughs> Ultimately, this is a show about the dangers of dental floss. Well, standard floss is strong enough to bind a honey-glazed ham. It may be wax-coated, and that wax could ignite in your oven, ruining your ham, your oven, and, indeed, your reputation. <laughs> so remember, kids, if catch of the day is swine, use cooking twine. <laughs> so weird. I have that exact phrase tattooed on my lower back. <laughs> um, uh, right, Mike, could you please reveal to me tonight's prize task? Certainly. This week, the category for the prize task is the most impressive circular thing. Uh, the irony, of course, about uh, circular things is that they're usually only found impressive by squares. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Anita, welcome to the show. What is your most impressive circular thing? My mum's wedding ring. Uh... <laughs> about this? It's like a circle of trust and in the inside my mum and her husband they have like nicknames which is Spiky and Sparky and it's engraved in the middle of it. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, well done. <laughs> I guess I believe in love again. Um... <laughs> So let's hope you do win this back. <laughs> uh, Laser, how you doing? I got to address it. What does this look? It's incredible. Well, it's just a makeshift alien costume. Okay. Came with a headpiece. No. <laughs> so, Laser, what is your most impressive circular thing? It's a giant puffball mushroom kit. What is a puffball mushroom? It's like a kind of mushroom. It's very circular. There we are. Yeah, that is the giant puffball that I found in a field. <laughs> Did you know that if a puffball spored, there would be seven trillion spores? And if all of those spores grew into mushrooms and then spored again, the amount of mushrooms would be 800 times the size of Earth. What? <laughs> wow. So if we use that kit you've submitted, is that... That's what will happen. Is that what you're suggesting? Oh, <laughs> uh, did you know that actually a puffball um, DNA is 50% yeah. the same as humans? <laughs> but Any particular human you've got in mind? Yeah. Any human. Any human. So you're 50% puffball mushroom. That checks out. <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> All right. Mayara, welcome to the show. What did you bring in as your most impressive circular thing? 
if like you want something impressive, mm. why not get a really nice globe? Ah. It can light up, mm. and on the globe, if you look like really closely, you can see some animals that are actually on it. Oh. Um, I can see a horse, a snake, a dog. A dog the size of Indonesia. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> chilly. <laughs> Persia. So, my most impressive circular thing mm -hmm. is a pigeon's leg ring. Oh. So, they're impressive because with racing pigeons, they track the pigeons and hold information about them. Mm. So, they could search up on their computer, let's say 19998, they could find everything about that pigeon. And Except we can't find out about yeah. that pigeon because you've that taken pigeon. their ring. <laughs> I can't help but notice your, your T-shirt, Persia. What does it say? I just really like pigeons, OK? <laughs> <laughs> I have pigeon socks as well. You've got pigeon socks? Oh, very good. Look at oh, those. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, last but not least, Ruben. So, I've bought in a Shania Twain CD covered in maple syrup. <laughs> wow. OK. <laughs> so, who's the hardest person to impress? <laughs> it's the old lyrical curve. Uh -huh, Aha, yes. Yeah. He's pandering to the elder millennial in me. <laughs> well, I think one of the most iconic people who is the most hard to impress is Shania Twain. Because of her hit single. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and because she's Canadian, I decided to cover it in maple syrup. Because why not? Yes. Wow. Okay. So it only gave me. Do your parents like a bit of Shania Twain, or is that is that well, just? Well, occasionally they <laughs> just just pop on a couple bangs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what a CD is? Yes, yeah. I have a CD player at home. Do you? Yeah. What kind of CDs do you have? McFly and Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Are you all time travellers? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah, the ancient music of McFly. <laughs> OK, look, they're all absolutely fantastic. But it's going to be one point to Nayara for the globe, two points for Persia, three points for Laser, because there was a lot of facts going on there. <laughs> Anita, the risk of putting your mother's wedding ring into the game, that's really impressive to me. So four points, but, Ruben, what? Ugh, I mean, five points. I got it. <laughs> Time for the first task. What will be kicking us off tonight, Coach Mike? Well, the tables are turned in this uh, task. No. <laughs> Uh, no, there, there, there is a turntable in it. Ah. Sorry, uh, a really big one, though. Uh, and a hat. Also big. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello, Nayara. How are you? this hat of yours? It's too tall. Do you like it? No. What is this going on? Hello, Persia. Uh, hello, hello. This is unusual. <laughs> hello, Mike. Hello, Ruben. How are you? <laughs> Doing good. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, hello. Hello, Mike. Laser. <laughs> hello, Anita. Hello, Mike. How are you? Good. Get the most different things in Mike's hat. You must not step on the red green. Most things in Mike's hat wins. You have eight minutes. Your time starts now. Now, what can I put in there? Is there a cut in your hat? All the information's in the task. It says, get the most different things in Mike's hat. Yeah. You must not step on the red green. Most yeah. things in Mike's hat wins. You yeah. have eight minutes. Your time starts now. Yeah, yeah I think that's pretty comprehensive. <laughs> to you? <laughs> you got a little cake on a cake display. It was quite nice. <laughs> Uh, Nayara, I think you're getting quite annoyed at Mike. Yes. <laughs> the reason I got annoyed at him is because every time I ask him a question, he's like, the answer's in the task. Honestly, don't get me started on that. <laughs> it's so annoying. Very annoying. It's happened to me a lot. All been there, brother. Uh, <laughs> the task is very simple. Get some things into that big old hat 
Show me that, Mike. Here is Persia and Ruben. Oh. <laughs> this to get near you, and then this to get to your level. So now I can actually reach you. Waiting. Bam. Make, make, make a little pass. Just make it a bit wider. <laughs> OK. Is this much... Does this give much... OK, OK. OK, OK, OK. Whoa! Try other things. Torch, beanbag, strawberry, tennis racket. Ah, cling film. Cling film. OK. I'm definitely not going to win this. So far, I haven't got anything in Mike's hat. Nope, nope missed. Just stuffing it in. Yeah, give it a good old shove. Why not? Clap. OK. In your hat, technically. <laughs> Next of all, I need a brick. <laughs> a clownfish and a salmon. A clownfish and a salmon are two different things. <sighs> they're, they're different species of fish. OK. Task thing. Yes. Phew. Thank you, Ruben. You're welcome. Are you worried at all about the fact that you've pushed my ears further down my head than they've ever been before? Now, the more things you can get into a hat... It's all about the task, isn't it, fundamentally? Yeah. Kind of built some bridges. You got some stuff in there. Pleasure very much went for the sort of the the pathway, then the elevated gantry. Mm. You had the pathway, but you instead you put a, a sort of elevated obstacle. At the. Uh... <laughs> but then um, he eventually got over the stools onto the bricks. Very precarious, right? Was careful to try and get different items. Yeah, different species. It did, uh, what was that about? They're different kinds of fish, and they're made of different things. The clownfish <laughs> was made of like rubber, and and the salmon I think was like stuffed. Do you, <laughs> do you think I was born yesterday, Ruben? <laughs> <laughs> Persia, um, you certainly filled up that hat, but would you say that those items were different? Here's what we... <laughs> with the yarn... Mm -hmm. Sorry, did you say, here's what we know? It, we, here's what we know. <laughs> <laughs> so, the yarn mm. was different coloured... Mm -hmm. Which makes it... And different. which makes it different. The googly eyes, when you pick it up, the eye inside the plastic is always going to be in a different spot than right. it was with the previous googly eye. I agree with Persia. Yeah. 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 You were... <laughs> oh, oh, well, well, no, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's a bit suspicious, Anita. <laughs> just, you, we haven't seen your clip yet. And just, I, I actually, um, <laughs> think I agree with her logic there. <laughs> uh, who are we going to see now, Mike? Next up, it's Anita and Laser. What have you got? Got a few balls to maybe throw at your face. Or, no, not your face, I mean your hat. <laughs> this is not going well. Um, no, oh, got one in. I've got an idea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You don't have to wear your hat. Sorry, Mike, but I'm going to have to take your hat off. So... Um, a little intimidating. Yes, I got the hat off! Yes, I got the hat off! Hello! What are you going to do next? Just put everything in the hat. A lot of ping pong balls. Three kilograms of dolly mixture. You've got 37 seconds left. Thanks for telling me. A lot of balloons. Get out, feathers. They're too big. What are you doing now? Mine. Fine. Mikey, Mikey! OK, I, I don't know why I'm doing this. What are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to draw on you. <laughs> Two shorts. OK, I'm pretty sure... There you go. Yes. 
<laughs> That's a real shame. I just go, oh, thank you, Mike. How dare you? How dare you, Lisa? <laughs> Draw on this sweet um, man's face. <laughs> what was the thinking behind it, Lisa? Just a bit of fun at the end? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why not fun? Why not abuse the assistant taskmaster? <laughs> oh, God, he is right. <laughs> at one point, I think you just said, I'm gonna get a big stick and poke it in your hat. <laughs> it was a, a nerve-wracking time. They had different approaches to the removal of the hat, you may have noticed. Yes. Laser going for the, the brim, which was quite, uh, quite terrifying. <laughs> you don't want him to pull out your eye. For example. <laughs> Perfect example. <laughs> right, uh, shall we see how Nayara got on? Absolutely, that's what I want. Before you put on mine, I just want to tell you one thing. I wasn't thinking straight. <laughs> I'm looking for weird things and different things. What are you going to do with them? Throw them in your hut. Oh, I see. Did they go in? No, Did they go they're in? not going in. What have you chosen to throw now? Balloons and feathers. Those most trustworthy of missiles. Feathers. Bye bye. <laughs> wow, wow, emotional stuff. Nayara will go fine. Like she showed immense strength against adversity there. <laughs> there was a point in time, if you spotted it, Nayara, where you threw some cotton wool balls out of your hand <laughs> and they actually blew straight back into your hand. <laughs> I feel like there was a lot of blame being put on Mike there and almost a, quite a threat. If he could just get up and walk to me, yeah. that'd be perfect. I think the phrase you used was, your spinning ruined me. <laughs> I mean, how did you feel to be quite threatened? I mean, she gave you the eyes. I felt like I, I, I must have generated that wind somehow, is what I felt. <laughs> yeah. She was so certain. I saw the anger in those eyes. Actually, you could have, because your spinning will get air out. Wow, this is true. She's gaslighting you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love the argument. Nayara, I love the attempt, and that was a joy to watch. Well, honestly, this task seems pretty straightforward. It's just about how many different things you got into the hat without touching the red green. So I guess we just need to tot up those things in the hat. Well, yes, although you do mention the red green. Do you have a squeeze, Ruben? Use the cling film wisely. <laughs> okay, it's definitely not gonna work. You know what? I do almost feel something impressive about so flagrantly breaking the rules there. Mm. You, if you're gonna do it, do it big style. It was accidental, okay? <laughs> Common defence, unfortunately, <laughs> holds no water whatsoever. There is one more little video. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Here we go. Not me. Not me. Yes. He was uh, oh. fevered with bloodlust. <laughs> was it all worth it, Laser? Uh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this does make it a bit more straightforward, doesn't it? Do you it? want some, some data? Uh-huh. No, I, I mean, I, I don't want to pour salt into the wound. Obviously, there was zero different items in, in, in the hat. Okay. Persia got four different types of item in the hat, and Ruben got eight, but we know what happened there. Laser also got eight. 
but we also know what happened there with the red-green. Anita got a whopping 13 different types of items. Oh, wow, amazing. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, points-wise, unfortunately, Ruben Laser, nil points for you both. Uh, Nayara, nothing in the hat. Honestly, though, you know what? I'm feeling generous. I'm given a bonus point just for the fact that that was so beautiful. <laughs> Will you take a pity point? Yeah. <laughs> So, one point for Nayara, four points for Persia, but five points has to go to Anita. <laughs> Shall we see how that all looks on the scoreboard? Yes, please. Well, it's, it's pretty tight. Nayara is languishing with two. Anita is way ahead with nine, though. Oh, oh wow. Anita, you're right. I would love to see another task. Windsor Castle. Hedgehogs. Mashed potato. Together, these things make up the sacred troika of Britain. <laughs> For obvious reasons, we can't use two of those in these shows, so here's a task involving a wee bit of mash. Oh, oh golly. Oh, hello, Mike. Hello, Lazo. Hello, Ooh. Persia. Hello. Anita. Hello. Welcome. I'm already worried. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello, Ruben. Hello. Oh, God. Hello, Nayara. What kind of mash is that? Fan of mash, are you? Yeah. Huge fan of it. Work out what two things are in each pile of mash. You... <laughs> you may eat one. I'm not eating that. <laughs> You may eat one, sniff one, lick one, put your little finger in one, and throw one on the floor. Most correct answers wins. You have ten minutes, your time starts now. <laughs> wow, wow. That's so big. OK, it's a classic game of what's in the mesh, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Little finger. We all have little fingers since we're kids. Yeah! <laughs> Also, even though you said it's a classic game of watching the mash, it's also hashtag horrible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're really bad at making mash. You need to go on cooking <laughs> lessons. Not enough butter. <laughs> yeah, you need <laughs> lots <laughs> more butter. Excuse me. That is an ancient, generation-old recipe from Mike's family, no, right? from the time before butter. You were being mean to him earlier, and now what you're doing is you're defending him. Yeah! <laughs> hey, listen, I don't know if I'm coming or going, and maybe that's the way I like it. <laughs> all right, all right. Who's up first, Michael? We have Anita, Persia and Reuben. I'm going to put my little finger in this one, because it looks like it has the most vegetables in it. I know what's in that one. Cucumber. OK. I'm very familiar with cucumber. Are you? Yeah. OK. Cucumber and banana. <laughs> Ew. Chicken curry. I've thrown it on the floor. Mmm. That was yummy. <laughs> <laughs> this one's completely useless. It just smells like mashed potato. What is that? Peas and carrots. Peas and carrots. I'm gonna go with ribbon. Happy birthday, bandana and a moustache. Gonna stick my finger in it. I already know what that is. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> you wish it was in there. Would you ascertain from sniffing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Brussels sprout. That's br that is br OK. <laughs> right, that looks like it. Cheese and uh, lettuce. <laughs> OK, this is just uh, a massive ball of mashed potato. Egg. Are you going to say and egg? if you want to be specific, boiled egg. OK. Boiled egg, but it's not completely boiled because inside the egg it's still runny. Okay. So boiled egg, just not completely boiled. OK. <laughs> Mint and pecans. <laughs> <laughs> Mushroom and toothpaste. 
toothpaste. Uh, hazelnut and some dried orange. I think it's safe to say that that task is officially finished. Bye. 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 Until next time. of making that task is savage. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say, mm -hmm. ribbon should count, because if you cut it up, yeah. then you'd count that as ribbon and you'd tie it on your present. There are very different types of sashes, so a hen party sash will get you a different reaction to say, you know... Yeah, if you've wrapped an anniversary present in a Hindu sash, <laughs> there's going to be... <laughs> there's a little bit a of a can difference. of worms. Yeah. Now it's time for Laser and Nayara. Let's go. Um, words, um, I'm just going to guess cucumber and pumpkin. These are the shapes of cucumber that it looks like. It's, so cucumber, so it's mushroom and mint. <laughs> mushroom. Oh, that's sprouts. Mushrooms! <laughs> <laughs> Is that your little finger? What well, is? This is a moustache. Right. Mm, I don't know. Can I just skip on here? All the information's in the task. <laughs> Get on my nerve. <laughs> I'm going to have a look if there's anything which tells me what they are. Um, anything around here? Oh, yes, there is. This one's mint and mushroom. This one's boiled egg and fried egg. This one's spaghetti and sprouts. That one's curry and cucumber. And this one's hen do sash and fake tash. Done. Thank you, Mike. Hi, Laser. Thank you, Nara. Oh, wow. Laser, laser, look how you feel right now. How do you feel? Pretty good, but I feel pretty disappointed that I didn't find it earlier. It was right there. Yeah, but Nayara, she had even a closer call. I'm so, I know. Don't look at me like that, Nayara. <laughs> all in all, really, really well done, Laser. But how did the others fare, Mike? Well, it's decent. It's a tough one. Ruben got two out of ten. Mm -hmm. uh, the other three were very, very close. Anita and Persia both got four out of ten, mm. and Nayara got five. Ooh. So I'm actually glad I'm not the worst right now. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, OK, this is a difficult task. I don't want to give anyone one point. So two points to Ruben. It was a really good attempt. Three points to Anita and Persia. Nayara, obviously, four points. But the full five points has to go to Laser. Well done. Well done. Fire another task up, Mike, please. W-W-R-H-D-O-W-T-F-T-M. That's right. <laughs> For this task, I wore my lucky What Would Robin Hood Do or William Tell, for that matter, wristband. <laughs> wow. And I had to ask myself, would either of them have done any of this? Hello, Persia. Hello. Hello, Anita. Hi, Alex. Alex? Who's Alex? Uh, hi, mate. Hello. Hello, Mark. Hello, Ruben. Hello, Laser. Hello. Oh. Oh, hi. Hello, Nayara. How are you? Not good. Why am I not? I'm amazing. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> right. Hit this target, this target, in the most impressive way. You were 15 minutes. So your time starts now.
Thank you. Is Alex? <laughs> Alex Horn. Alex Horn, that's not a real name. Very um, <laughs> so, so I want to wrap my head around this task. That is, it is the most impressive way, right? It doesn't necessarily mean the most accurate shot. It just has to impress me in a way. It's an opportunity to be creative. That's exactly right. And first to impress, we have Ruben and we have Nayara. I'm gonna go get stuff. What sort of things do you find impressive? Mm. Nothing. <laughs> There's an umbrella on the door of the shed. <laughs> Sorry. No, that was Sorry. quite impressive. <laughs> Actually, this is, is going to be quite odd. Googly eyeballs. Yeah. Please let us work. Yes, it works. Okay. Googly eyed umbrella acquired. <laughs> I'm good at fighting. Something else. What was was that not good enough for you? No. Why? I'm trying to do something really impressive. This is going to be my attempt. Three, two. I think it's safe to say that this task is done. Booyah. Booyah! Booyah! See ya! See ya! Booyah! Bo see ya! Which one is it? Booyah! Booyah! See ya, Booyah! <laughs> you alright? Sometimes you just agitate me. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Hey. Wow. Impressive. That was really great from both of you. I have to say, I'm sorry that Mike left you so hanging with that booyah at the end. He really didn't understand what was going on. I didn't. <laughs> and Ruben, of course, the googly eye on the end of the umbrella. Did you have fun doing it? Yes. Yes? Just, I had a lot of fun doing all the tasks. That's absolutely fantastic. That's all it's all about. Having fun and also being judged by an adult woman. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> would, you, uh, uh, would either of you change anything if you did it again? Actually, yes. The boo you see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have said instead? That would have got through to Mike. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm feeling the need to be impressed again, Mike. Who is next? Uh, it's Persia and Laser. Okay. Oh. Shed. Shed. Shed is fault one because there could be something that looks cool in the shed. Cool plus cool equals impressive. Okay. Right. Cool plus shed. cool. So double cool, basically. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So what kind of things are cool? Uh... Eggs. <laughs> oh, that, that went well-ish. We're gonna drain the egg. Yep. Buy egg. Then we stuff the egg with fishies, cover the egg in shaving foam. Yes. Make it look like an egg but not like an egg at the same time. The old egg, not egg paradox. Ah. OK. <laughs> if we put googly eyes on the egg, yep. it will make them look like a person. Eggman. Eggman. Is it going to be this egg? No. This egg? <laughs> the final egg. The almighty Eggman. Bam! <laughs> Fishy explosion! There we go. Did you say that was double cool? Double cool, yeah. <laughs> Done. Thanks, Lisa. Rock out. Rock out, dude. I've learned... I think I'm learning that Laser is a bit of an agent of chaos. That's a, that target was my worst enemy. Was it? <laughs> How I did it was I just thought of the target as Mike's face. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel 
about when these children get so angry at you? Well, I feel fearful. <laughs> <laughs> now, Persia, cool plus cool equals impressive. Yeah. I think Mike asked what was cool, and you immediately replied, eggs. Eggs. Eggs, yeah. <laughs> What's cool about eggs? I don't understand how an egg can just turn into a chicken. It's <laughs> yeah. a decent point. Where a lot of us are taking that for granted. <laughs> the next one to ladle up is Anita. I'm going to make a cross. Yeah? I'm Why is that? Assuming... It's going to look like an X marks this spot. Right. You're not happy with a bullseye as something to aim at? <laughs> or, for example, a target? It's gonna look like a target. I'm gonna pretend that my finger's fallen off to make it look like a mess of blood. The mess of blood? Because it's a criminal's target. It's just taking a dark turn. <laughs> okay. What's this? Let me think. <laughs> Can you spray this for me, please? In a big circle there. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Now, you need to be the criminal. I'm the criminal? Yeah. What, do I, what have I got to do? You need to stab it with the umbrella. And then I'll do my part. OK, this is it, no, is it? Yes, yeah, stab it! Stab it in the middle? Yep. Ow! Oh, my finger! <laughs> OK, bye. Uh, uh, stop the clock. Bye! Oh, wait, bye! Bye! Oh. I am not entirely sure what I just witnessed. <laughs> Can you talk me through your artistic process there, Anita? Please. My finger fell off. <laughs> <You're> basically... <laughs> so basically what happened is Mike mm -hmm. was a criminal and he had the umbrella and he stabbed my finger and my finger, like, I had a hole in my finger so it fell off and then since it fell off, that was all the blood and then I don't know why I added the shaving film, it was just fun. <laughs> Before you say I didn't hit the board, one thing, I did hit the board with my finger, and two, the task specifically said hit the board in the most impressive way. It didn't say you need to hit the board in the most impressive way. Gosh, it's always so tragic to see the paranoia clutch the young mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was impressed by each and every one of them, but there are clearly rankings to this, and um, I'm going to give one point to my man Ruben, even though there was a googly eye on the end of the umbrella. <laughs> one point, two points to laser, it was chaotic, but it was great, but Nayara, I mean, come on, there was two cartwheels, there was some flips, three points. Persia, I really love the backstory. Four points for Persia, but I just, I loved that. It was one of my favourite things ever. Anita, five points. Amazing. <laughs> oh, Mike, what has that done to the scores? At the, at the tail end, you've got Ruben, Nayara and Laser. They're on 8, 9 and 10, respectively. In second place at the moment, we have Persia on 13. Our leader is Anita with 17 oh. points. Very close. All right, my fun-sized friends, make your way over to the stage for the final task of the show! <laughs> task tonight. Persia, please, if you wouldn't mind. Sit silently with your eyes shut for 30 seconds. Then wave and smile at Rose for 30 seconds. Then lie on the floor and pretend to swim for 30 seconds. <laughs> Most accurate 30 second average wins. So you have to work out what the 30 seconds is, however you do that, and we work out who is closest to real seconds. OK. So hopefully that's all clear. I mean, if it isn't, then it's going to be big time, boo boo time, isn't it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, your time, according to yourselves, starts now.
open our eyes when they're away. <laughs> what are you doing for summer, Mike? Or... Yeah, sure. Probably staycation this year. <laughs> It's nice to say where you are, yeah, isn't it? Prices, it's just prices, need to spend that money, you know. Nice spots anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. Have you managed to see some old uh, buddies over the summer, do you? It's good to stay in touch with you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. Me, uh, who'd you get, uh, who's your cobbler? Who does your boots? Um, do you know uh, Daniel Day-Lewis? Oh, yeah. Daniel Day-Lewis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He does, he does a bit of acting, a bit of cobbling and stuff. That's quite so. good, yeah. Yeah. Small screws. through that task? Well, for probably four out of five of them, quite tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Anita got 49.18 seconds, on average. Mm -hmm. Nayara got 22.65. Laser got a decent 34.14 seconds. Uh, Ruben got a pretty extraordinary 30.17 seconds. <laughs> Uh, and Persia got one minute twenty. <laughs> so in terms of studio task points, that of course means Persia gets one for that, and Anita two, Nayara three, Laser four, and Ruben wins the studio task with five points. <laughs> All right, Michael, please uh, show me the final scores then. Well, it, it's just about the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me, Rose, because the runner-up and the winner will go through to the semis. I'm starting to sweat, my heart is pounding, I can feel a nosebleed are you coming. Right? Are you all right? Yeah. Far from it, but I do want to keep this job, so... <laughs> In fifth place, I can tell you, with 12 points, we have Nayara. Give her a hand. <laughs> In fourth place, with 13 points, it's Ruben. Well done, Ruben. We're skipping third because we're leaping up to joint second because we have a tie Ooh. for the runner-up place with 14 points. That ties between Laser and Persia. Wow. <laughs> Which means tonight's winner is Anita! <laughs> Anita. Fantastic. It, of course, also means that we've got a tie on our hands for second and third place, and that can only mean one thing. It's a tiebreaker task. What's the TBT this week, Michael? We've gone for the cold, hard cash option. Laser and Persia have to guess how much money is in my pocket. <laughs> the closest wins. I'm going to give you a single jangle. Are you, are, are you ready for a jangle? It's going to be a faint jangle. <laughs> the definition of an anticlimax. If you wouldn't mind showing us, Laser, how much money you believe is in my pocket? Ten pounds. Thank you, Laser. Mm -hmm. Persia, what's Seven your guess? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Three pounds and twelve pence. Which means Persia is the tie-break winner and going through to the semi-final. <laughs> but Anita is the winner of this show, so go on up and collect your most impressive circular things. It was a triumph for all. I think I can safely say that I like my Taskmasters like I like my Robert Downies. Junior! <laughs> Let's hear it for all of our contestants and, of course, our winner, Anita! Subscribe now!